Uh, namaste everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, we're meeting after almost two weeks, so I'm really excited to be uh, back in the class. Uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, for those of you who are new, uh, my name is Ashutosh, and uh, we've started Hindi University about like, you know, almost 10 years ago. And we meet every Sunday, you know, for the most part at 9 a.m. US Eastern. And we learn various topics in Hindi language. Uh, in this particular class, we have started, we are, you know, going over a course called Hindi level 302. Sort of an intermediate and advanced level in which the approach we have taken is like we are taking uh, one short Hindi story in each class. Okay, we are talking about one short Hindi story. Uh, something which is easy for all of us to understand and relate to. Maybe some of these stories you may have heard of during your childhood days. Uh, so the intent is, you know, less on the story, but more on how we can kind of, you know, uh, share our understanding on Hindi language uh, with this medium, with the help of the story. Um, so what I, what, I, what I tried in last class was like, you know, we we picked up the story and I asked pretty much all of you to to share your approach on how will you say the sentence in, in, in Hindi, okay? And uh, I also ask you some more questions around the story, that why that incident is happening, okay? Um, so we'll do something similar in this class and we'll go over a story called The Hidden Treasure. Okay, some of those words are quite new for you, you know, in terms of like, how do you say these things in Hindi? Uh, so this is also another advantage of using a, a story, okay? Uh, so let me just make sure that the audio is good on the on the Facebook as well as on the, you know, the Google Hangout site. So just give me a quick thumbs up for folks who are watching it on, on Facebook, uh, just to make sure that you can hear me okay? Perfect, okay? So I'm getting a quick thumbs up, yeah, so the audio is good there. Um, so uh, for those of you, as I mentioned, like you are new, you can <clears throat> follow up the older stories by going to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Hindi University. And this will really help you, you know, understand the basics and also the fundamentals of how we are approaching uh, this class. Okay. Um, so let's get started. As, <clears throat> as we have done in the previous classes, um, we'll start the story. Okay. And the story is The Hidden Treasure. Okay, um, and we'll go into what you how do you say the hidden treasure in Hindi subsequently. So the first sentence I really have the way the, the way the story starts is like you know um, there was an old man living in his village. There was an old man living in his village very simple sentence most of you have seen this thing it's it has you know uh, a past tense a past indefinite as well as a past continuous okay so i'm not going to give you more hints i'm going to just ask you know one of you to tell me how will you say the sentence in in hindi okay more importantly share your thought process so the sentence doesn't have to be accurate completely i'll help you out um, so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to ask uh, one of you. Um, in this case, I'm going to ask Liz to kind of read it, read it aloud, and uh, share your thought process. How will you say that? Sure, sure. There was an old man living in the village. Okay, very good. So, so Admi is man. Okay, Admi is man. And then, and then Rahate, Rahate is okay. living. To live is what? Raha, Rahana? Rahana, very good. To live is Rahana. Rahana. Yeah. And then village may say in, uh, Apni village may. Very good. In his village is Apne village may. And why do you use Apne? Apne means. Yeah, you said apne village me, and why do you use apne there? 
Sorry, sorry. Uh, you used apne, the keyword called apne village mein. What what is the significance of apne? Yes, to say it's his village rather than just saying it's the village. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And so, then at the end to mm -hmm. put ta meaning or past. or maybe hey. No, past. You're absolutely ta. right. There'll be ta. Okay. So let's put everything together. How do you say that? Uh, Admi. Ek. Ek Admi. Ek Admi. And how do you say old? I forgot. I forgot old. I thought Purani, but I think Purani is for old objects. That's right. Purana is for the old objects. What about the living objects? They're just old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And how do you ask that question? Kya kya Hindi me old kehte hai? Hindi me old man ko kya kehte hai? Uh, Hindi me old and old man ko budha admi kehte hai. Bura. Ah, cha cha. Okay, not bura, budha. Okay, budha. Okay, so say say it after me, budha. Bura, ek bura admi. Mm -hmm. um, apne. Uh, in an uh, apne village. Me. Apne. Me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Rahatata. Very good. Okay. So, a Buddha Admi Apne Gaon Me. Village is nothing but Gaon. Okay. Okay. So, a Buddha Admi Apne Gaon Me. Rehta Tha. Now, there are two new words that you learn. First one is a Buddha, which is old. And I'm going to ask you to write it or practice it in, in Devanagari as well. Old, when it is used for men uh, or living objects, you can say it's basically Buddha. Okay, and the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a B. Okay, B. And then there's a sound of U. So you put U here. Okay, Bu. And then D. Okay, with A. Buddha. Okay, Buddha. Um, that's how you, you write it. And um, the new word, another one was Ga. So the second one is village. Village is nothing but G A O N. Ga. And the way you write Ga is you have a G with A. And then there's a nasalized sound. And then Ga. Okay. Ek Buddha Admi Apne. Let me see if there are any questions on the on the on the Facebook side. So feel free to participate. Okay, Namaste from Panama. Uh, same here. Uh, feel free to participate, and uh, you know, as we are going in, in in the interactive session in the class, I want you to you know feel that you are also part of the the class, and you can also kind of share your views as we are going through the story. Okay, let's keep building. Um, so the next line is, the next line I have here is, um, he had four sons or four sons. They were all lazy. OK? He had four sons. They were all lazy. Okay. Now, some of the keywords are new for you. Some of the, uh, but uh, I think it should, still, it should still be fine for you. So I'm gonna give this time um, Anyas. You want to give it a try? Yes. Read it aloud. This sentence. Okay. He had four sons. They were all lazy. Uh huh. So son is beta. Okay, beta. And for son is uh, char char beta char bete. Very good, char bete or char ladke. Okay, uh, Hindi me lazy ko kya khete hai? Very good. Hindi me lazy ko alsi khete hai. Alsi. Okay. 
a l and then s with e a l s i for example you want to say he is lazy you will say vah a l s i hai okay same thing if a girl is a lazy you say vah a l s i hai she is lazy okay okay so the translation of he is vah vah mm -hmm. but as we want to say he had uh, we have to say uh, us usne pas hai so usne pasta in uh, past tense uh huh so, so why it, do you say usne uh, so remember you when how do you say uh, you know i have a pen how do you say that um mere kalam pas hai mere paas kalam hai aur mere paas pen hai okay position he had four sons so you know for example i have a i have a son uh mera ek bachcha hai or i have a daughter meri ek bachchi hai i don't necessarily need to use pass in that context so when you say he had four son okay. right use uske sorry sorry it gets right again ah, uske <laughs> उसके चार बेटे हैं ओके उसके वेरी गुड उसके चार फोर इज नथिंग बट चार उसके चार बेटे थे राइट थे चार बेटे थे चार इज फोर बेटा इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट वन सिंगुलर इट्स एज यू मेंशन Plural is bete. Okay, next one. They were all lazy. They were all lazy. So uh, they uh, sub uh, sub is all. So they uh, they sub al al sete. Very good. No. They sabhi al si the. So you can use sabhi or you can also say sub. Both of them are correct. Okay, they sub al si. Hey, they were all lazy. The way you write sub is sub and then ber. It's really like you know the sub way sub. Okay. But we uh, don't say we don't say al se for a plural. Only al si. It, no, it doesn't change. It's a state. It's a keyword. It's okay. it doesn't change. It's a, it's a state, right? I mean, so for example, mehnati. They were hard working, right? So that's mehnati. Uh, there's no plural for mehnati. It's okay. like it, it is a state, right? It's like a pias or hunger, right? Okay. Okay. So we sabi very good question though. We sabi alasi the. Let's keep building, um, and I'm gonna write down the next sentence. So the next one I have is one day, the old man he fell ill. Okay. So one day. he he fell ill he got ill or he fell ill okay um uh, this one is sort of simple so hopefully other than couple of keywords it should be straight forward so alicia you want to give it a try ah oh, sure okay so uh one day he fell ill okay um one day is ek din okay okay ek din and uh, he is uh, uh raha <laughs> very good ek din raha and am ill is bimar that's but right it is bimar but i'm not sure how to say to fall ill <laughs> okay so ek din raha very good so far very good raha bimar yeah can you say raha bimar uh can you say bimar ka or okay we have bimar tha um so think about it this way remember we we learned a a verb uh you know many weeks back to become or to be what was the verb do you recall that no i'm sorry so who remembers that there was a verb called to be or to become um or to get okay Uh, let me see if anyone. I'm going to unmute all of you to see if you guys can share your thought process. What's the word? Anyone on the Facebook? For example, when you say it, it rains, right? 
you use a particular verb to say it rains here. Hona. Hona yeah. means to be. Very yeah. good. Awesome. Hona. Right. So let's do that. Can you use the verb Hona? So the hint is the verb will be Hona. Okay. Now you have to use it in that context, in that you know verb, uh, in that tense. Ek din, the bimar. The verb will change. Well, um, can you can you just use hona? So, so hona it's basically the infinitive form of the word. Okay, um, if you're using it in the present tense, uh, you know you will say, for example, it rains in Seattle. How do you say that? Seattle mein barish or rain hoti hai. Okay, yeah. so you'll take the first part of wo, you'll remove the na, and because the sentence it's in you know present indefinite, you will uh -huh. say Seattle mein barish hoti hai. Or you will say, Yaha barish, for example, if it is, it is raining, you will say, Barish ho rahi hai. Okay? Yeah. So it is now you're saying the sentence in the past tense, he fell ill. Okay? Yes. Because hona is, a, is an irregular verb also, right? Uh, you have to kind of say, it's a tricky question, right? So you will, the past form, you can memorize it. You will say, Ek din mein hua. Oh, okay. And the way you say, you have a her with u and then a with a. Ek din hua. Okay. okay. So it's, it's the verb hona just in a different tense. I mean, just in the past. In it's, okay. it's like ana, pina, you know, sona, bolna. You, you, it's like, you know, any verb you're learning, you will learn it in this manner, in the, in the to form, right? Uh, to happen, for example, hona is also to happen. <laughs> so in this case you'll say Ek din bimar hua. okay so imagine you are visiting a doctor you know and you are telling them the you know the story that i went to this country and i got sick Main mm -hmm. bimar, or do we you can say that okay, okay. so um, it, because the old it's a man it's a masculine you are saying hua. if it is a, a feminine singular it'll be mm -hmm. Hui. Very good. It will be Hui. Awesome. So let's keep building on it. Uh, we'll go to the next sentence now. So the next one is the next one I have is um, he told He told his he told his boys that he told his boys that he has hidden that he has hidden a treasure in the fields or you know he has hidden treasure in the fields. Sort of longer, it's a long sentence, but uh, you know, I'm just going to call it field. Okay, in the field, uh, but uh, the concept is still same. I think you should be able to 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 do it. So I'm going to try again. Uh, Liz, you want to give it a try? Read it aloud and share your thought process. Sure, sure. He told his boys that he has a hidden treasure in the field. Okay. So va for he. In Larky Ko, he told it to the boys. The Larky Ko Kete Ki, so told that. Okay. Um, okay. So he told his boys. Give, so the so Larky Ko Kete Ki. Okay. Um. One more time. What is the verb here? The. No verb. Verb. Verb is. And then kete, a kete. Yeah, to tell is kehna, right? Or bolna. Kehna. Or bolna. Okay. Okay. Bol bolna, right? So let's say if I say he said to his boys, right? Now this word is okay. transitive or intransitive. Word? Uh, 
Ah, there's my key. It must be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how do you say that? Usna. Usne, very good. Usne. Usne, Larkiko, Boltaki. Usne, his boys. Usne. Apne, Larkiko, Boltaki. Apne, Larko. Plural, right? Boy is this, and then because. Acha. Okay, because you have a ko, right? Usne apne ladko ko bola ki that, right? Conjunction. Clear, right? Usne apne ladko ko bola ki. Acha. So why is it bola instead of bolta? Uh, think about it, right? Usne apne, he told. It's a past, you know, it's a past indefinite form. Right, and the verb is still an in infinitive form. For example, uh, okay. For example, I I I thought. How do you say I thought? I think is main sochta hu. I thought is main socha. Okay, um, and that's how you know, you know, you okay. you took the verb. Oh, word like that. Yeah, bolana. Yeah, exactly. So you took the word bolna, you took remove that part and you you replace it with uh, of the past. No? Acha. Yes. Yeah, I get that one. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So Usne Apne Ladko ko bola or Bachonko Bola ki. Now the next one. He has hidden treasure in the fields. Break it down. It's much easier when you break it down. Right? Okay. Okay, so Usne. Uh, treasure field me, mm -hmm. and then the verb for hidden, hidden ta. Okay, so hidden karta. Okay, very good, right? So how do you say that? Let's say if you don't know the word, you just use English for the time being. Usne, and then you said in the field would be. Uh, field me. Usne field me. And then next one you said is treasure. Treasure. And then next one is hidden karta. Okay. Um, or you say hide. Or you know, kara. He had. He has right. Kara hai. Acha. Okay. We'll simplify it. You are saying usne. अपने लड़कों को बोला कि उसने फील्ड में ट्रेजर हाइड कर रखा है ओके यू कैन से करा है और कर रखा कर रखा है ओके नाउ लेट्स रिप्लेस द कीवर्ड ट्रेजर इज खजाना ओके ट्रेजर इज खजाना खजाना ओके खजाना and the way you write it in Devnagri, you have a k, and then you have a z with a, and then n with a. Khazana. This one, this was a sort of a complex sentence because you also have like a present perfect. You you have you there's a use of has or you know have you can call it right. Usne feels me khazana, and then to hide that's another word. To hide is that, that's a word you have to remember. It's a new word. Okay, so the way you say uh, to hide is to hide is chupana. You can say that like chipana. Read that as not chip but chi ch. So you have a ch and then with u, pa with a and then na with a chupana. Okay, chupana. Right, and then. In this sentence, you will say usne field me or khet me. The word for field is nothing but khet. Usne khet me. It will come again, so just memorize it, okay? Khet. You have a kh with a and then the. Usne khet me khazana chipa rakha hai. So the way you will say, you will just take the first part, chipa. Chipa, chipa rakha hai. Okay, usne k 
खेत में और उसने अपने उसने अपने लड़कों को बोला कि उसने खेत में खजाना छिपा रखा है यू वॉन्ट टू रीड इट अगेन लेस जस्ट लाइक यू नो लाइक द वे यू विल सी अव पर्सन स्पीकिंग दर सेंटेंस शर्शर उसने अपना लड़कों को बोला let me start over <laughs> to hes- to hesitate at that point doesn't make sense yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah usne apne larkon ko bola thi usne khet mein khazana chhapna rakha hai khazana chhipa rakha hai okay chhipa rakha hai usne apne ladkon ko bola ki usne khet mein khazana chhipa rakha hai now just to kind of like take some more time on it what do you think was the difficult part in this sentence for you what was like tricky when you started it um the, the hidden treasure hidden treasure was a tricky part and that also because of those two keywords you also kind of took some pressure to convert the first line right he has told right, right? he has told his sons <laughs> right so Is that clear? Now, उसने अपने बच्चों को बोला और लड़कों को बोला. That one is that one is good, right? It is good. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Right, so let's move on. We'll do the the next sentence. So next one is equally interesting. Uh, the boys went to the field. the boys or his boys went to the field the boys went to the field and dug up the fields and and dug up the fields so before i move on to the you know the translation part of it let me see if you know folks on on facebook they have any comments or thoughts or questions per se i want to make sure all of them are participating so i think shireen your your sentence is also correct it's just the order usne apne ladkon ko bola ki um khet mein treasure chupaya um and i think the ending is like chupa rakha hai aur chupaya hai उसके पास फील्ड में ओके सो फॉर इट्स लाइक यू नो आई एम गेटिंग सम पार्टिसिपेशन आप प्लीज फील फ्री टू इंक्रीज इट यू नो आई आई यूजुअली रीड ऑल द द द द कमेंट्स सो इट मेक्स मी हैप्पी व्हेन आई सी यू यू नो पार्टिसिपेट प्लीज कंटिन्यू टू डू सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस द बॉयज वेंट टू द फील्ड एंड डग अप द फील्ड ओके सो देयर इज अ वन वर्ड वर्ब वर्ब इज यू नो टू डिग okay to dig is nothing but khodna and we have not learned it before khodna okay um the way you you will write is like you have a kh with o and the with n a khodna okay khodna um for example you when you say i dig up the fields main khet khodta hu okay I dug it up. Mane khet khoda. Okay. There's a direct object that is receiving the action of the verb. That's why when I'm saying it that I I dug up the field. It I'm using ne with the pronoun. Mane khet khoda. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna give this sentence to Anyas. Um, I'm gonna unmute you, and you can give it a try. So before you jump to the translation, just try to break it down different parts of the sentence. Just share your thought process, okay. and then we go to the solutioning aspect of it. All right. So the boys is uh, larke mm-hmm. to the field uh, khetme. Mm-hmm. Went is uh, the verb jana, and jana in past uh, tense is uh, gain. Oh, very good. It's, ir- it's irregular verb. Ah, uh-huh, very good. Okay, so larke ket me gay. Very good. So let me write it down. You said larke because it's plural. Okay, in 
to the fields you will say khet mein khet mein khet mein and then you said to go is jana but because it's an irregular word it is used in the past tense it becomes gai 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 very good ladke khet mein gai and is or or to there is a hidden day here they dug up the fields right but then we have to use the transitive form for uh that's right so uh, then that's right so how do you say that so it will be uh, so there is v so it's uh, unhone no very good right unhone or unhone and how did you come up with this one unhone uh because now i know no no but share it share it no because it's it's v uh, uh-huh. it's uh, there it's v and the transitive form of uh, v plus ne it's unhone very good it's because they is v and because it's used in the past tense and the today gives a transitive word you will use the post position ne with way and ve plus ne as anish mentioned is unhone okay keep going unhone so unhone so the field cat uh, cat me i guess no yeah that's right unhone cat cat uh, ko maybe no cat ko cat ko kode uh, kode how to say ko koden no koda okay unhone khet ko koda why koda ah yeah 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 because it's uh, the field that's right right unhone khet ko koda very good so interesting thing is as you mentioned uh, you know because it's in the past tense it's always the object who is responsible for how the verb will be you know how the verb will be conjugated right if it is plural then it's a different thing if it is singular you will say unhone khet ko khoda or you can also you don't necessarily have to use ko so that is optional unhone khet khoda okay awesome let's keep going so i'm going to write down the next um you know a next sentence but folks who are watching live on on facebook um think about how you approached this sentence and how you translated it if there was anything that was not clear you can ask me questions and we will go over it okay and uh, there are many ways to say the same sentence right um so if you think you would have written it differently share that as well and we will cover it okay so the next one i have is they Couldn't they couldn't find they couldn't find any treasure. So I'm hoping you all of you are following the story, right? Not just the translation, right? So the guy, the old man was very sick. He called his boys and he told them that you know there's a hidden treasure. The boys really went and you know dug up the field and they couldn't really find any treasure in the field. Um, okay, so. this one i'm going to ask alicia to share her thought process don't jump to the translation directly um, okay yeah okay so they couldn't find any treasure um they is where mhm and the treasure is khazana okay treasure is khazana and couldn't find well you could just say didn't find ah uh, okay you can say couldn't find ah uh, to find is or uh, well can is uh, sakna okay can is sakna and in the past would be past would be saka saka yeah uh and find is uh uh find Okay. Bring it so, together. It's okay. Bring it together. Yeah. Uh so uh where not where 
um, any treasure um, koi kazana mm -hmm. uh, uh, find saki okay so okay. this one is a bit tricky this one would be to them like to them okay. treasure was not found okay, okay. <laughs> so then, okay so to them uh, to me is like how do you say but how do you say very good right so to me is muchko to them uh, is uh, unko. very good unko unko any treasure what's the key word for any um any um. any <laughs> anyone for example as a teacher a lot of people are raising their hands Mm. And you say anyone can answer. Uh, I don't know. Okay, koi. That's the word is koi. Okay. Koi, right? So you will say it is like k with o and then e koi. Okay. Koi khajana. Koi khajana. Koi khajana. And then kun find. Unko koi khajana. To find is dhundana, right? And uh, you know, in this case, because the way sentence is written, you will say unko koi khadana nahi mila. Mila, okay. Uh, and this can be confusing because milna can mean different things. Milna is to meet, okay. And milna in this can case can also like you know to 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 detect or to find. Okay, because it's written in the past tense, you are saying "bila" uh, as opposed to uh, that's how the verb is conjugated. So they dug up the fields, you know, and unko koi khadana nahi mila. Okay, um, in a different context, in a different context, let's say you know your friends gave you the address of their house, and uh, you know you're going everywhere, you're trying to find it, right? You can say that I couldn't find your house. Mujhe aapka ghar nahi mila. Okay. Um, mujhe aapka ghar nahi mila. Or I couldn't find them. Mujhe pe nahi mile. Okay. Let's say you are expecting your friends in a uh, in a party, and uh, you went there, and you you know uh, you know you you didn't you didn't uh, you didn't really spot them. You can say mujhe wo nahi dikhe aur mujhe wo nahi mile. Okay. Um, if it is becoming very difficult, as I mentioned, you can also say, they, you know, you can also say, Mujhe unko koi khajana nahi dikha. Dikha. So in this case, they couldn't see or they couldn't see any treasure or they couldn't see. Uh, uh, so, so the past form of uh, to see is dekhna, but you're saying it as dikha. Okay, milna is becoming difficult for you to reconcile. You can consider that also. They didn't see it. Okay, good job there. This was a tricky one, right? So now the next one is the next one. Um, after a few days, it rains heavily. After a few days, it rained. Heavily. Okay, so um, I want um, Liz, you want to uh, sure. you want to just read it and share your thought process. Sure, sure. After a few days, it rained heavily. Mm -hmm. so, so the beginning. After a few days, um, Kuchdin Kebad. Very good, Kuchdin Kebad. Okay, just break it down right now. So this one you think kuch din ke baad. What is kuch din? A few days? A few days and ke baad is after. Okay. Awesome. What next? Okay. It rained heavily 
Bahut Barish Hua Tha. Okay, uh, what is Barish? Is it a masculine or a feminine? Uh, feminine. Feminine, right? So, how do you say that? How do you use the verb Hona for a feminine? Would, would it be Hui T or yeah. just Hui? Hui, very good, right? So, how do you say Kuch? Keep going, Kuch. Kuch din ke bad. Okay, because it's plural, which dino ke baad, and you're using a post position. Okay, you can still say which din ke baad, people will understand it. Which dino ke baad, heavily is? Um, bahut, bar, bahut. Bahut, right? Bahut. And it rained. Bahut barish. And then you said? Hui. Hui. You can still put thi, but even if you don't put it, it means because the way it is used, it implies that it, it happened or it rained. Okay, kush dino ke baad, bahut barish uh, And for those of you who are interested in like, well, how do you say it in Devnagri, you have a ba with a, and you have a ra with e. You don't say barish, okay? Because that's when you, the, the this thing will be on the other side. Because it's a soft E, you will say Bali, Barish, and then Sha is this one, Barish. Okay. Kuch dino ke baad, bahut barish hui. Right. So let's keep going. And yeah, yeah I think we are doing very good with time. We have about, uh, you know, sort of 15 minutes left and uh, only a few sentences are beginning. So I'm really glad that the progress, you're making progress in the, in the, in the story. <laughs> Uh, so now uh, it rained heavily. The guy, the boys, they didn't find any, uh, you know, any treasure or anything like that, right? Um, so um, let me kind of take a quick pause here and let me um, unmute some of you uh, and ask you questions. Um, now, um, what do you think the boys felt? Like, you know, what, what was going on in their mind? Let me ask this question to Liz. Try uh, Hindi me answer karo. Ladko ko kya laga? To say, what were they thinking? Yeah. What, like, you know, they couldn't find anything in the, in the fields. Okay. And, um, you know, what do you think? You know, what, what, what was going on in their mind? Speculate anything. Acha, uh, Larky, Larky searched to uh, apni pa, papa pagal hai. <laughs> Larko ko pagal hai, papa pagal hai. Okay. Acha. Okay. okay. Anyas, what do you think? Let me unmute you. Larko ko laga. She's saying Larko ko laga, papa pagal hai. Okay. Me sochti hu ki Larko udasi. Uh, like it. Can I say that? To to, no. to become, right? Like, no, to feel. How do I say to feel uh, sad? Who does uh, who does win? Who does larke? Who does win? Okay, the boys were sad. Okay, what do you think, Liz? Uh, Alicia. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I think yeah. Uh, What, what was uh, after they didn't find anything, you know, uh, list things that you know they thought that the, the father is mad, like Papa Pagal him. And uh, Anyas is saying, ki, you know, Larke Udaswe, they, they became morose or they became uh, sad. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I think they, they were worried. What do you say? They were worried, okay? So, where Parishan the. Okay, or where Parishan Huwe. Okay. okay. So let's keep going. Um, so someone, maybe their dad, he wanted to teach some lesson, right? Because they were lazy. Someone told them, told the kids, or told them. Okay. So you know what? Let me just change the narrative here. Uh, even though the original story is different, but you know what? Each story is a new story. Right, and um, 
the way I learned this story, there were some changes, and I'm going to change it again on the fly. Okay, so the old man. So behind the scene, the old man. The old man went and the old man went and saw seeds in the field. So basically, you know, in this case, what is happening is like, you know, the boys, they did the hard part and the old man was able to make them do the hard part. Right, by tricking them or by telling them that there is a treasure. Now, behind the scene, he went and he saw some seeds on the field. Okay, and the, the boys don't know about it. Okay. Um, so last sentence I think was done by um, you want to give this one a try, Alicia? Oh, sorry, Anyas. And then Alicia will do the next one. Yes. Okay. Uh... So the old man is, uh, as we saw at the beginning, it's uh, 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 is uh, Buddha Ari, this mm -hmm. old man, or no, the old man? To say this, it's just the old man. It's basically referring so to that particular man. So only uh, Buddha and me? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, went is uh, the verb jana. So jana in past tense is uh, gaya. Okay. Buddha and me gaya. And is or uh, in the field uh, cat me, mm -hmm. um, but to uh, seeds uh, Hindi me seeds ko kya kehte hai? Hindi me seeds ko beej kehte hai. Beej, b. So you have b with e and j. And to sow is to sow seeds is bona. Bo na. It's not tu matra, it's bona. Okay, if you're saying tu matra, that means like it's a dwarf, right? And it's a small boy. Okay, so keep going. So, uh, so, ket, so in the field, ket me, uh, but as we can say, uh, he see uh, it's transitive form because uh, we can say what did he saw? He, yeah. What did he see? He sees mm -hmm. it. So we have to put the the transitive form of he. So he is verha and verha plus ne is usne. Very good. So we'll say or uh, usne ketme uh, be seeds in plural form. Would, would it be bg he, or b? He, he, yeah. No, just beach. Okay, just beach. So, or cat me usne beach. So, bona in past tense be boa? Boye. Okay, because ah, boye. Right? So, awesome, right? Oh, yeah, because it, it, it goes with seeds always. That's right, awesome, right? So, the old man went. So, you will say, Buddha, Admi, Gaya. Okay, and she said like to go is jana, but the past form of jana is gaya. Okay, and and is or. So the old man went, the Buddha admi gaya, uh, Buddha admi gaya or, and he is like usne. And you saw her thought process, right? She, you know, it's a, it's a past tense, and uh, you know, and there is it's an intransitive verb to saw because there's a direct object, seeds. Okay. Uh, so that's why you're using ne with vah and usne khet me in the field. Usne khet me beej boye. Okay. Usne khet me beej boye. Okay. Um, Anis, ladko ne kya kia? Beej bone se pehle ladko ne kya kia? Largo to put how we say they they put beach in the fields. They, no, no, they so, put seeds in the fields. So Bude Admine Beach Boy, but is se pehle before this, is se pehle Largo ne kya kia. There was a sentence before it. 
What did they do? The okay in Hindi me? Wow. Yeah. Hindi. Uh, Hindi. Uh, unko koi kazana nahi uh, mila. Uh huh. Uh, or uh, or uh, how we say? Unhone. Or unhone ketko khoda. Unhone ketko khoda. Very good, right? So that's what I was looking for. Narko ne ketko khoda. So they did the hard part. Okay. Now let's keep going. The next one I have is number nine. And because it rained heavily, right? I mean, the, and the old man knew that you know rain has a benefit, right? Um, and as a result, they got uh, they got a good crop. They got a good crop. Alicia, you want to give this a try? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh... They got a okay a crop. Um, so they is uh, yeah well crop I don't have no idea what crop is but uh, crop is crop fossil. Okay, fossil. Okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, in that case is. Uh, Okay, so sentence in the past with a transitive verb, which should be okay. There should there should be unhone, fasten, uh, yeah, not. Uh, okay, so think about it. Think about the sentence like you know, I I got an ice cream. Or you could yeah, okay, you can yeah. you can use an impersonal form like. Uh, uh, how do you say I got an ice cream? I got an ice cream. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, anyone, both of you want to give it a try? Um, at least tell how do you say the first part? I got an ice cream or I got an award. This one is tricky. Mere ice cream hai, no? No, mujko ice cream mili. Okay, I got an ice cream um, award, Mila. Oh, Mila? Mm. Like to find. Like to find. <laughs> you know, multiple ways to say that, right? They got a car. They got a very good car, crop, right? I mean, so um, basically, in this case, you will say you will still use, you know, that you know the, the it happened right? as a result of it. You know, person we. Fasal hui or fasal paida hui, like it was, you know, it was, right? Fasal hui. Fasal hui. No, fasal hui. What's my meaning? They got a call. How do you say this thing, right? I mean, so this would be, unko, 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 achi, achi, fasal hui. Okay. Yeah, unko achi fasal hui. As a result of it, so see the sequence, right? I mean, बच्चों ने बुरे आदमी ने बच्चों को बोला कि खजाना छिपा है खेत में खेत में खजाना छिपा है बच्चों ने खेत खोद दिया ओके बच्चों को खजाना नहीं मिला बहुत बारिश हुई ओके और बुरे आदमी ने खेत में बीज बोए यू नो हिडन टेल एनी ऑफ द किड्स उसने बच्चों को नहीं बताया ओके लेकिन बारिश की वजह से उनको बहुत अच्छी फसल हुई, ओके? तो यू नो यू वांट टू टीच देम, ओके आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क इन इन द क्वेश्चन बेसिकली। सो उनको बहुत अच्छी फसल हुई एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज़ दे द दे दे गोट दे गोट दी Hidden treasure. They got the hidden treasure in the form of a good crop. In the the form of good crop. Okay. So they got the hidden treasure in the form of good crop. 
Liz, you want to give it a try? This is sort of the final sentence. Sort of difficult too. <laughs> 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 so they got the hidden treasure. So the hidden treasure, Milte. No, think about it. They got, right? Un to them. To them, Usko. Unko. 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 Hidden treasure is. I don't remember the word. Chipa hua. A chipa nai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chipa hua khazana. Unko, they got the hidden treasure, um, or they found the hidden treasure. Let me say, maybe that that would make your you easier. They found the hidden treasure. Unko chipa hua khazana. Say. To find this. Um, mil milta is to receive. Yeah, in the past tense it would be. In the in the past tense it would be it would be. They found the hidden treasure. Unko chipawa khazana. Milta cha. Mila. Okay. Unko chipawa khazana mila. So you don't say milta tha because then it would be they used to find, right? Man, apple khata tha is like I used to eat apples. Okay, uh, it's it's an intransitive verb, right? Uh, unko mila. Okay, um, let me see. Unko. So sorry, it's still a it's still a transitive verb, but to them, to them, it was found, right? So he's saying unko chipawa khazana mila. Okay, in the form, in the form of good crop. So try it. I don't know. I'm, I would kind of change it to say like, you know, to say similar. Okay. So let's change the English. The word for similar. Uh -huh. How do you say? It? I mean, if you want to simplify the sentence in English, how do you say? It? They found the hidden treasure right here. What was the hidden treasure for them now? Hey, Saman. Okay. Uh, Saman Fazal, Acha Fazal, hey. Acha Fazal, right? Um, so, in the form of, you know, the way you say, Achi. So, this is like sort of written, the way it is written, it's maybe confusing you. Uh, they found the hidden treasure. I mean, you could simply say that they found the hidden treasure. Unko Chupawa Khadana Mila. Okay? Chupawa Khadana Kya Tha? Let me ask you this now. Chupawa Khadana Kya Tha? What was the actual hidden treasure? Achi Fasal. Achi Fasal was the hidden treasure. Buddha Admi Kya Chata. Sorry? Buddha Admi. Buddha Admi. Kya Chata. What did he want? I don't know. Okay. Anya, you want to give it a try? Buddha Admi. Apne Larkon, uh, I thought, wait, wait. Okay, I say in English and then I try to translate in Hindi. He wanted his uh, sons to understand uh, that work is good, that works give uh, gives uh, good things. That's right. So simplify it. How do you say that in, okay. in, 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 in Hindi now? So he, he wanted a... Uh, uh, so uh, the old man, the Buddha and me, uh, apne apne larkon, uh, acha. Good work is acha kam. Mm -hmm. um, what did his son? Jata tha. To know, to know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you. I don't, know how, I don't know how to mix all the the words. <laughs> yeah. So. Basically, what you're trying to say is like, you know, he wanted the boys to work hard. Okay. Yeah. He, want, he wanted them to be hardworking. Okay. Not to remain lazy. So, Buddha Admi Chata Tha Ki Bache Mehnat Kare. Okay. Mehnat Karna is to work hard. 
टू वर्क हार्ड इज मेहनत करना ओके सो यू कैन ऑल्सो से बूढ़ा आदमी बच्चों से हार्ड वर्क चाहता था इफ यू डोंट नो दिफिक यू नो वर्ड इफ यू है डिफिकल्टी जस्ट रिमेम्बरिंग दैट यू नो यू कैन ऑलवेज यूज सम इंग्लिश वर्ड राइट आई मीन वह चाहता था कि उसके लड़के हार्ड वर्किंग बने ओके वह चाहता था कि बच्चे टाइम की वैल्यू करें इवन दो यू कैन से दैट यूर यूजिंग टाइम एंड वैल्यू दो इंग्लिश वर्ड राइट बट टू it's still better because you are spontaneously thinking and coming up with the the answer okay um so i think we are right about you know time um you know and so um i'm going to just you know wrap it up uh, for those of you who are watching live on uh, facebook you know thanks so much for your time in joining you know uh, the class we all have a hidden treasure within us uh, you know it's all we are doing is like you know dig up a little bit and um, hopefully we'll find all of us will find one day so uh, with, with that in mind uh, thanks again for your time um for joining and uh, you know we'll we'll see you next week so i'm going to open it up for panel discussion internally uh, so let me